Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, today's date, it is December 19th of 2022. It's almost 5 a.m. in the morning. This is going to be a fast video, I think. Better be because I forgot what I was going to say. I never write anything down. It just pops in my mind. Um... And nothing has popped in my mind. That's not a good sign. Uh. I'm serious, wow. Uh, let me do a quick... I just checked there's no Windows updates. Um, let me see what else is going on here. Checking CNN. Twitter deletes controversial new policy. It says here that Musk could be out the door at Twitter if he loses a user poll he posted. So I'm guessing he posted something. Uh, you can just vote whether you want me or not. <laughs> you don't know what he's, you know. Then he may delete everybody who posted. I don't know, you know. You don't know what he's going to do. 36 injured, some seriously, after a severe turbulence on a Hawaiian Airlines flight. Another headline is, water levels drop at this major lake, bodies begin to appear. Pope Francis orders Vatican to return Parthian sculptors to Greece. Biden administration moves to phase out compact fluorescent light bulbs and push towards LEDs. I'm looking at the rest of these headlines and stuff. You may hear a bang from time to time. My son is, you may hear snoring also. He's asleep. And his bed is right next to the door, and occasionally uh, he bangs the wall or something. Five people killed in a horrendous condo shooting in Canada, police say. A Thai warship sinks in severe weather, leaving 33 crew missing. I didn't know, I guess, if that's Thai. Is that Thailand? T-H-A-I. Uh, I didn't know Thailand had uh, any warships. Let's check that one out, see if we see. A Royal Thai Navy warship sank in severe weather early Monday, leaving 33 of its crew of 106 sailors missing in stormy seas off the Gulf of Thailand. Three rescued uh, sailors were in critical condition. Strong winds tilted the 252-foot 252 
long Corvette HTMS shook hot tie. I'm sure that's wrong. Allowing water to enter an exhaust pipe and subsequently shut down the ship's electrical system. Sounds like they should have had everything battened down, but you know, you don't know. I mean, I was never in the Navy, I was never in the military. Uh, but sounds like, of course, maybe they had no warning. Or did somebody fail to shut close something that they should have? I mean, it really doesn't matter, except you want to make sure that you do things to make sure that something like that doesn't happen again. Severe weather in the Gulf of Thailand and about 20 miles from Bang Saphan District. And then they get the name of the province, which I can't pronounce. Why don't those people speak English? Just teasing. I have to tell everybody I'm teasing when I'm teasing. Parents of a missing 11-year-old girl arrested for failure to report child's disappearance. Anyway, um, I I checked before I decided to make this video. Let me drag this over. Before I started Manicam, I uh, tested the sink. Looks like it. Looks like a trick. Anyway, I rebooted. I think if I hadn't rebooted, we'd have had a. Uh, so it sort of looks like I need to check Manicam and this camera uh, microphone. The microphone, actually. And uh, make sure. Here's something else on the news here. Missing pregnant Arkansas mom and baby found dead in Missouri after a couple. After a couple allegedly kidnaps her. Missing pregnant woman and baby found dead in Missouri. Both dead in McDonald, Missouri, and a couple is facing charges in connection to the case. Is this another one of these things where a woman is killed or cut open so that somebody can take a baby or something? You see the sheriff. This couple, the couples in custody, a married couple, are being held on first degree kidnapping charges with more charges to come in connection with the death of Ashley Bush and her child she was pregnant with. Uh, the sheriff said, this is one of the most horrific cases that I have personally been involved with. Anyway, uh, 
By the way, did I mention that we got our thermostat fixed? Uh, the, actually, it was a, the uh, furnace, and I don't think it was the thermostat so much, but we got that fixed, so thank God. That was a mess for a couple of days. The heat would, you know, we'd have the heat set on 81 or something and wake up and it was like 92 or something in here and you couldn't just flip the switch or whatever. Uh, you could even turn the thermostat off and the thing just kept, you know, it would keep running. The only thing you could do was flip it to air conditioning and then the air conditioning would start running and eventually it would cool it down to 81 or whatever it was and uh, then the heat would start running again or something. Anyway, it got taken care of, thank God. That's a pain. I'm sure, I wonder what the, you know, I don't think I want to see the electric bill this month. But it's taken, that problem is taken care of. Um, I think that's it. Thank you very much for watching.